And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Aurelian Soul. Now this deck is going to be one that uh, I just put together today that was kind of built uh, based around a deck that we played against uh, maybe last week or so um, that had a really cool combo in it. And I wanted to try putting a deck with that combo in. All right, so I'll kind of talk about it. So basically what our, our plan is, is to um, have these five power units, your Sunforger, your Firebrand, Eclipse Dragon, Aurelian Soul, and be striking for five plus damage four times. We want to turn on Reputation. And then once we turn on Reputation, then we're going to have our Black Rose Spy that whenever it's summoned, it can transform into the strongest ally that has struck this round. Um, and of course, um, if we have an Aurelian Soul in play, and maybe an Aurelian Soul strikes, that's going to be our strongest ally that, that strikes. And so we can have Black Rose Spy copy Aurelian Soul. Now we want to make it easier to even find Black Rose Spies, so we're going to be playing Gifts from Beyond in here as well, where Gifts from Beyond can find the Moon Weapons, and one Moon Weapon can be Crescendum. Crescendum will summon a two-cost um, ally from our deck, and that will be our Black Rose Spy, or two-cost follower. That's the only one. So we can use Gifts from Beyond to find Black Rose Spy, be able to copy Aurelian Soul. So that's kind of the, the goal here. I think that I, I want to play some games with this, but I think that maybe three Eclipse Dragon, three Aurelian Soul, maybe a little heavy on the dragons there. Um, uh, you know, so we could maybe have in like some more like Bloody Business or even another uh, Firebrand, which I really like this card at the at the five mana slot. So we'll kind of see. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give this a try. So we're, we're going to also be playing um, Sentry, Thorn of the Rose, plus Ravenous Flock, like those those awesome Noxus cards there. We got Zoe just to help slow down the opponent because, you know, like Zoe can create some um, good Celestial cards for us with the super cool star charts, which will help play some defense. Um, you know, Sunforger playing defense here because we want to just get to the late game, right? We want to get to the, our playing our dragons and then copying them with a Black Rose Bide. So that's what we want to get to. So we'll see. Maybe I have too much top end, but let's let's play some games first, and, and uh, let's see how it goes here with Zoe Aurelian Soul. I don't feel like I need Whisper Words. I feel like, like, the part of the game where I'd want to play Whisper Words is the part of the game that I just want to get to, right? I'm, I'm worried about dying early, and Whisper Words doesn't help me from dying early. I'm not really worried about winning late games. I think we'll be able to win late games. And Whis Whisper Words helps you win late games, but I'm, I'm not really worried about that. All right, so I got Priestess on three. We got Dragon's Clutch to draw a couple of dragons. Um, this card's in here basically just to protect Zoe. That's why it's here. Let's keep these two. This isn't a, I mean, it's an okay Zoe matchup. They don't really block elusives, but they also have Boxtopus uh, to challenge Zoe, and then they also play three Hush. I don't really want to. I don't really want to do that next turn. I know they could have another box to to challenge, but I don't want to do that next turn because then if I try that next turn and they just play like astral protection and, and heal it, that could be a nightmare. We shall weave our own destiny. It's the warrior. The warrior does help turn on the reputation. We'll see if they have Hush, hopefully not. But I'm not gonna really play around it. Okay, they did. Go no further. So Zoe's still only seen three cards, it doesn't count. Like after it gets hushed, it doesn't count that other one. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Hope only provides temporary sustenance, child. Appetizers of pleasure. I 
no, I'm kind of, I'm giving up my Zoe. Falling Comet's a good one. It's all right, Smash. Yes, he just, just got in here. So basically, our, our deck idea is going to be um, trying to turn on Reputation and then have Black Rose buy copy Aurelian Soul. That's the kind of thing that we're going to be going for here. So if I draw two different dragons, next turn we could play like Eclipse Dragon next turn and then Aurelian Soul the following turn. Um, but I'm probably going to want... I think I'd rather just play Falling Comet. Okay. This will help play my really until a little bit earlier. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Excuse my impertinence. So in order to stop this, they'd have to have Bastion plus, which they still can, they have to have Bastion plus Guiding Touch, which is possible. Maybe better simply to wait a turn. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. Oh, I don't require a menu. Okay. That'll do. Yeah, they're gonna have to have a lot of, you know, different cards to kind of help help save them. We're gonna be putting a lot of pressure on them that turn. Okay, looks like we're playing against They Who Endure. It's been a long time since we've seen They Who Endure. Well, this looks like a keeper. We'll have our Sentry Flock combo on three. We'll have Life Steal thing on four, which I do have the attack token on four. And then I'm going to keep this Eclipse Dragon. Since since I have this stuff also, I'm going to keep this Eclipse Dragon to make sure that we can... Uh, we have the ability to cast um, Aurelian Soul on eight if we find it. Okay. I would have to say that this is not... Probably not they who endure anymore. I pull the strings. Which you never know. Maybe it is. No, I haven't gotten to the legendary bosses for Lava Legend yet. I haven't gotten there yet. Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the roses. Let's do it over there. Okay. There. Again, that's just slowing my opponent down quite a bit, which is going to help us with our dragons. Dragoons. So what is that going to be? Is that Ledros? This feels like a Ledros deck. So I'm just going to play you. Probably don't trade three one for one one. Okay, so our reputation's at two, two or four. All right, gonna cast the gifts from beyond to turn on nightfall.
Cool. Alright, so they could... Ruination again. It's probably not the most likely. Okay, so Reputation is online now. So I could have just gotten a copy of Eclipse Dragon. Yep, there's Ledros. So I guess I just died to Atrocity, don't I? Because of how I played this. Yeah, I did play this in such a way to die to Atrocity. So that's my fault. I definitely could have... Definitely could have done things differently. The biggest mistake I made was uh, when I cast that moon weapon. Just really wasn't necessary. I should have just played my first one and, and uh, not gone for the nightfall. That that was a little greedy on my part. Because if I don't if I don't cast that moon weapon there, then you know they play the Ledros. Um, you know I played my first one on Daybreak. I could still play like the other Eclipse Dragon when when they play the Ledros. I can get the moon weapon to do three damage to the Ledros and do three damage plus. Um, uh, plus the flock and put it back in their hand. Good job, Cabo. You're at Diamond 2 now. Very nice. You're getting there. A little bit farther. Can I do nothing until turn 4? Probably not. This feels like this is going to be a bad matchup for me. All right, so we're going to want to find Equinox, because those Marauders, those Marauders are trouble. Okay, we've mulliganed well I need just a moment. with getting Zoe and now the Whirling Death, not bad. These options are that bad. Fallen Comet is just pretty expensive at you know killing an Ash or a Marauder. It's an expensive way to do it. I kind of think I want Golden Sister. Let's do that. Guiding, my brethren. Let's have some fun. Another Marauder. When I play against this deck, they do a great job of drawing Marauders. Got that out of their hand. You know, traded zero mana for one mana. I will unite the frail yard. A life steal may be worthwhile later, possibly. Daylight star the skies. 
Because, yeah, this kind of gives me more bodies against Ash. Not and ready. Evening glows. And I do not want to trade my 4 3 for a 3 1. Why not block Ash with the with the one two? Um, because it's good to have like a little bit of damage on me whenever I'm about to play a life steal unit. I can still always block the I can you know, I can still block that. Um, you know, coming up here. Shining gifts from the sky. Oh, with the three two instead of the Marauders. My move. stand together. Come on, boy. Morning, take you. You are beneath me. Oh, because right, we go to ten and then gain nine. Right, right, right. Okay, never mind. Sorry. All right, I hope this works. All right, good. Random out of protection. Oh, right. <laughs> I need to play the Eclipse Dra Dragon Daybreak. It's like play really until next turn. Whoops. Well, I guess now we get Nightfall. That's fine. Those will work too. Alright, that will work too. <laughs> We don't need to really insult the next turn. What's up, Easter Snipe? Ooh, another Zoe matchup. They're going to be playing the slow, you know, Victor, you know, sit back, bl ballistic bot Victor, create a bunch of stuff. Hush is great against Victor late game, but I don't want to keep it right away. I don't want it in my opener, you know, it's something that I want on like turn eight, whenever they have like a powerful Victor that they're attacking with. Yeah, done building decks for today. These are the four decks that we're playing over here. The ones that I built and put together were the Zoe Reliant Soul and the Zoe Zed. I'm playing a couple of different Zoe decks today. An aggressive one and, and this more uh, combo control. Well, these are all good. These are all good. Because even like like grabbing 1-1 one, one Zoe, or a, you know, 4-4 four, four Zoe is not bad. Guess we take the falling comment, but I don't know. I don't know about that. Those were good. Bask in her radiant blessing. Join the glorious evolution. I don't want to join Lucian. We're not playing Demacia. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. The time of nice. Is now. I guess we go for this. Clumsy footwork. Yes, of course. Uh, probably starting like Tuesday, we'll be we'll be uh, focusing more on ladder climbing to make sure that we can get to the uh, top 700 for. Um, for the seasonal tournament. I think we'll start that like on Tuesday. I don't love this Thorn of the Rose trade with Solari Priestess. Devotion through battle. Back heretic. Hey Kordak. No, we haven't done the combo yet. Getting rid of Debot. Shining gifts from the sky. With utmost 
All right, so they have a they have a three three Zoe from that Ridden Stars. Kill that. Metal is perfection. Reality is just your mind crumbling under what it doesn't understand, silly. Impossible. Years of empirical evidence. I don't really need to attack with the five one to turn on reputation. Um, because we we want like a really insult. Aurelian Soul to strike anyway to you know to copy the Aurelian Soul and so whenever it strikes it will have reputation turned on. Also. Spell shield. So they they've really drawn their champions. <laughs> they've had this is their third victor, second Zoe. Challenger? Probably fine. I just yeah. It's only at three for leveling up, Zoe. Four for Victor. They're killing all my stuff, but they don't really have many cards left. But they are kind of killing all my stuff. So this takes four mana, which means I'd have enough for Fused Firebrand also. Alright, we got our combo online. Yeah, that should have been the fourth strike for Reputation, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that was number four. Yeah, I don't I don't like the I don't like the new spell shield either. The other one like actually looked like a shield, it was cool. Doesn't matter what we phase. <laughs> All right, we got it. So four mana for Enrilliant Soul. It's pretty good. Now they should help each other level up. <laughs> there we go. Combo online. So that was, yeah, our Black Rose Spy is our only two mana follower in the deck. So whenever we crescendo, we go find Black Rose Spy, put it into play. And now we got Double Aurelian Soul. They got Elusive. That was like the only keyword they could give. But, alright. We got our own elusive. Well, that is something they can hush. So right now that's 12 power. Do not make me 
Oh, this has Overwhelm? I forgot about that keyword. Alright, so they're a little worried of Hush. Alright, they'll go down to 8. It's fine. We'll get over it. Alright, so we could go for Champagne Supernova, but the Victor does have Spell Shield. So it wouldn't take that out. Um, so I guess we just we could just go grab another like big elusive thing. Like all of our other large elusives. Double Aurelian Soul, making them cost zero. I went with the this thing first because this one has overwhelm, so I I had that one be second with the overwhelm. All right, what do we get? Moonglow and messenger. All right, I think we just open attack. All right, to the stars. With that astral protection, that means I can't ravenous flock this thing. But they're pretty dead because they, you know, didn't hush the destroyer. Because he doesn't. So wait, so oh yeah, because the destroyer has spell shield also. So I guess that's why they they didn't. All right. Okay. Double Aurelian Soul. Been wonderful, as have I. We got our combo. Okay. All right, so Renekton, Sejuani. This could be a good hush matchup, maybe. We got some Black Rose Spies in our hand, which I kind of think we need to keep as a blocker early. You know, like we have like turn two blocker, turn three blocker. I think that's probably important for this matchup. Because they'll play like their 3-1 Overwhelm. Okay, or just normal 3-1. Obviously, I don't love Roiling Sands with, you know, Thorn of the Rose. Don't love that. So let's go with the Priestess. Give me the Golden Sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only two extra damage, but we get, you know, a free kill for two extra damage. Ooh. Um. Go ahead and double spell. Prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. Bruise even a single petal, and there will be consequences. I like how they gave Black Rose Spy voice lines whenever, like, <laughs> you you want Black Rose Spy to actually just, you know, turn into a copy, transform into a copy of something else. Chaos and 
but still has voice lines. All right, Renekton, super scary. No mercy. Maybe no exhaust. Or a Well, we might as well try. Delicate fun. Hope for the best. No. Well, we tried. Yeah, I guess, like, the reason to not kill Renekton is it, it allows them to play another Renekton. The reason to play, like, I'm worried, like, they could have, like, you know, Exhaust, Ruthless Predator, that kind of stuff, and have their damage thing challenge over here, which would be a reason to flock before. Sometimes your opponents just have a really great curve. That happens. Yeah, Omen Hawk, Rock Hopper, Averroes and Trapper, and then uh, and then Renekton, and then you know the Enraged Yeti plus spells for spell for Renekton for the challenge, and also protection. Right, like so they had, they had four mana spells there, and then Ruin Runner, <laughs> then Alpha Wild Claw. There's no shame in losing this game, basically, is what I'm saying. No shame at all. Alright, good game, opponent. Yeah, good game. Okay, so I, th I I liked our deck a lot. I thought I thought it looked really good. Um, yeah, we only went three and two. One of them, you know, no shame in losing that last one to the Renekton Sejuani deck. Um, great curve out by them. Very powerful heavy hitters. Um, that kind of curve out is going to beat most everything in the metagame, and you know, not uh, not ashamed of losing that game. The other game against the Ledros one was one that I I definitely made a mistake with the gifts from Beyond. Um, I think I had the tools to win that game. I. I uh, hastily cast my gifts from beyond when a turn when I really did not need to, and that cost me. All right, but but uh, I liked our deck quite a bit. I think it looked it looked real strong, felt real good. I could use a couple. I think I could use like one or two more interaction spells in here. Um, you know, maybe like those bloody business like we talked about. I think I'd want one or two of those. I felt like like maybe dragon's clutch isn't really quite necessary. Like if we play three and three, we don't really need dragon's clutch because we're going to have. Uh, we're probably going to be drawing these anyway. Um, yeah, that's that's what it definitely feels like. So I think that we could probably get rid of the Dragon's Clutch for a bloody business. And um, maybe just that. Maybe just that. Wish you could play more Ravenous Flocks <laughs> than, than what you can. Um, yeah, I think I would I would think I would just probably just change that one card. 
because the other option is to play more dragons you know like play dragon's clutch and, and trim some of these but honestly with this deck i just don't i don't know if i really want to like spend three mana on dragon's clutch and spend three mana to draw a card the other to draw the two cards um i think that i, I want to just because really again what i'm worried about with this deck is dying early and dragon's clutch doesn't help you doesn't help protect you from dying early we're like bloody business can right because i feel like if we can get to the late game if we can stabilize we're going to be perfectly fine like i'm 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 not really worried about that. Like with having Eclipse Dragon and Aurelian Soul, and and even being able to copy Aurelian Soul and stuff, I, I am perfectly fine with the the late game. And so, um, cards like Whispered Words, Dragon's Clutch, cards that that's like early on that spend mana to add more cards to your hand. I think that those are kind of cards that I'm just not really interested in playing. I don't. I want my mana to be um, affecting the board. All right, but there we go. That's Zoe Aurelian Soul. Really cool combo here with the uh, Black Rose Spy. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, um, you know, or any other ideas you have for this cool combo or anything like that. Uh, yeah, feel free to leave those, co those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching. Some Aurelian Soul, and I'll see you for the next video.